what up coming to you live from arguably and i don't know if there's really much argument here but this has to be one of the coolest subaru sandbars ever i'm not going to say k-trucks because there's some really cool k-trucks out there but you might have heard of the honda acti climber but what do you know about the subaru sandbar six wheel so if you guys saw my dad coco video we actually picked it up over there this is a super deluxe at that which means you get the extra storage here. You get a little more room. Got some JDM speakers up there. This one has 86,000 kilometers. We can start off with the interior because for the most part, this is all relatively stock. In my opinion, whoever buys this truck needs to rear post to the whole interior, put her cooler steering wheel, maybe touch up some LEDs there. Definitely put a double din, clean up the radio. Luckily, this one has AC. Maybe paint this whole thing black. Do something fancy with the door cards because the exterior is done. Not really much you can do. I guess you can technically swap over the wheels. You can also add an exhaust. We'll get into that later. But let's just do a couple 360s and really pinpoint a lot of cool things about this truck. First and foremost, we're not even going to focus on the fact that it has six wheels. The fact that it's burgundy and gray, I think, looks really nice together. I don't know if I've seen many burgundy sandbars or really K-Trucks in general. And then they added this little lip. I think it gives it some character along with the obvious. What do you know about bullhorns in Japan? I'm sure when you click this video, you weren't expecting a lot of things, but that's definitely one of my favorite features on the front end. On top of that, you have LEDs in the front along with all four of those fog lights working. Love the attention to detail with the white wipers, the mirror, over fender there, along with the roll bar and big wang. Back here, we got four wheel drive, super deluxe like I mentioned, backup camera. I love the fact that the bed is green as well. I think that's another pop color that goes a long way. Paint the vibe cover blue and red, red spark plug wires. I think the homies at Special K and OK Garage can definitely spice it up with an exhaust maybe some squid pipes make this car even better I'm not sure what the wing is made out of i don't think it's metal i don't think it's plastic either maybe aluminum feels sturdy feels like it belongs definitely very tall i'm like 510 that's probably closer to 6162 love the side marker lights all the big trucks here in japan have them so to see six of them on this one is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the shocks, cross beams, battery on that side. You can look at this. Definitely some custom fabrication done there. Here's how it looks with all the lights on. Imagine like a third brake light up there. And you already know what I'm going to say, but I'm not going to say it. Imagine six of those though. So the middle wheels aren't operational, right? I was going to wait for someone like you no. to let me know. No. So they just spin? Correct. Okay, cool. So you can't put tracks on it? I mean, you could still put tracks on it because the wheels in the back will do their thing. But these won't be powering the tracks. Only the back ones. So it's not like the Acti, like the... Like the climber. So cool though. I mean, six wheels. Yeah, six wheels, yeah. Closest thing. How many people actually use the climber? Yeah. Right? Like maybe a handful of them. Dave is driving a German BMW in Japan. But yeah, comment below. How do you guys feel about it? What would you do extra? What would you change? Would you buy it? This could definitely be a Hot Wheels similar to like Texas 2. Something like this. This is really like a one of one. And speaking of one of one, check out this custom Honda Acti food truck. Did they close it? Oh, they closed it unfortunately. I'm gonna get the keys though, but it opens like this from both sides. So here's the inside of the food truck. I think if you push this one like that, there's probably another lock somewhere. Oh no, like this. Slides out completely. 
So you have even more room to cook your glizzies back here. Has a fan, has a light. And then here's how it looks on the outside. Essentially like maybe a foot of extra room. And then you can cook on that side take orders on this side this one doesn't extend but it still pops open and then this guy's on an acti that has ac five speed most likely low kilometers pretty clean gotta add some california mirrors for some additional visibility but overall another one of one k truck now let's check out some of the other cars they have for sale first and foremost let's start off with a banger a Suzuki K that I thought was an import legal because it just looks so new, but it's already on tri spokes. That has been the theme for this trip in Japan. It's five speed, turbo, pretty clean. You know, Mendy Imports got one recently. Maybe we both can have Suzuki Ks. Almost look like it has an exhaust as well. I think I bought four cars already, so not sure if my bank account's gonna allow me to buy five. If you're watching this, kids, do not max out your credit cards. This guy only has 102,000 kilometers, though. Fog lights. Let me see how it looks with a fog light. Because you guys know, a car with fog lights is really the way to my heart. Add some LEDs on there. But this is a cool car. We got some very rare options. Honestly, this lot has a lot of cars that I really want to buy. This isn't one of them. I have no idea what this even is. Maybe it's a Citroen or something. I don't even know what this is. I think it is a Citroen, but this is a Domingo. How many times have I been speaking about a Domingo? They're honestly just hard to come by. And technically, <laughs> technically it is on dry spokes. But yeah, this one is five speed, not CVT, which is very important. Has 200,000 kilometers, which I guess is high, but at the same time, when are you gonna find another five speed Domingo? Rear AC, interior and everything looks like in great condition. Five speed. Has the rare Subaru cup holders there. Big mirrors. It's blue, two-tone. Add the fog lights up there. Add some actual rims. Another car I would love to buy. This, I believe, is like, can be imported around December, January. If not, it's already legal. But it's the newer Atri Vans. This one is a custom. I'm not sure if it's turbo, but I really like the way these look. I know they're getting a lot of hate. People are saying the new vans and new trucks all look ugly. But in my opinion, dual airbags, extra room, rear seat belts, more comfortable seats, horns, power mirrors, foldable mirrors at that. We actually get cup holders for once, rear power windows as well, rack, spoiler. I think we got to get with the program, honestly. Some cars are, I'm not going to lie, a bit ugly, but we just need to get used to it. They're only going to get newer. They're only going to get uglier. I'll let them drool over that while I look at this Bravo. Love the color, love the wheels. They're probably still working on this one. There's a lot of stuff in the back. Oh wow, look at this. How do we get this to New York? Can you imagine? Wow. I really like this Jimny too. Recaro, fun Fetty seat. Rear airports, everything is working. Wow, now we can just go right there and close cold for Philly AC. Come on, man, this is this one the part is I think one in. This is cool. Would you cape in this? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Nick Camp in a freaking, I mean, like all Delica? kinds of stuff in the Delica. And yeah. The, Pretty much almost camped in a wagon R if we could. This is this is what I really want to bring back home for like my kids. So we could be driving, they can be back here. Yeah, I mean it's got hardwood, it's got I love that you have access to the front. To the front. Oh, there.
Oh wow, it has a Reparo. Pretty easy too. Yes. Not only that, it's a full bed with this other side too. Like these will fold down and so with us. Oh yeah, you put the table up, right? Oh wow. So here I'll show you. Oh wow. I take it you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Now you got a full size bed. Wow. Now we're back to the first lot. More rare K cars. We got an Acti with the lift bed. Perfect for hoisting engines. These are pretty rare. Five speed with AC, 152,000 clicks. Four wheel drive as well. Yellow Honda today. This is pretty cool. They had to move. So this one, this and the Suzuki K are the two cars that I would say I'm legitimately considering. The channel's been wanting a move forever. I've been wanting a move forever. It's five speed, it's turbo. Not sure if it's four wheel drive or not. Only has 92,000 kilometers. I love this Kenwood thing in the back. Seats are in great condition. Roof looks good. So this is, we're looking at another one while we're here, but that's a car I've been wanting for a while. I think this is a Minica Town B. Similar seats to the one we got at the auction the other day, similar to the one that Giovanni bought if he's watching the video. Shout out to him. Another cool, like very starter K. We have a Joy Pop Turbo. I didn't even see this one. Does it have a sunroof? It's automatic. Ooh. It indeed does have a sunroof. Dual airbags. Again, does it look as cool as the every that we're used to? I'm not going to pretend it does, but does it have rear seatbelts, dual airbags, sunroof, safer, drives better, more comfortable? Yes. Yes to all those questions. Then we got a Hijet Jumbo. Another car very high in the Wait for the Fame purchase list. Looks like it has aftermarket seats, a tri steering wheel, got the net up there, comes with AC. Another car very high on my list. The Hatsu deck van. I don't know what it's gonna take for me to get a deck van. The fact that I had two mirror walkthroughs, a mighty boy. I feel like cars that are way harder to obtain and I haven't got a deck van or a sandbar makes no sense to me. Another cool car, Acti Street, we see these every day. And then this one's really nice. Sucks that it has that front end because probably shipping is gonna be hard to do, but it's in every with the glass roof, which are very hard to come by. What do you call this? You go with this car, it's nickname. Thor, horns? What would you call it? That's what I'm thinking, I don't know. Something with horns and thorns. It's gonna feel weird when you turn because of those extra wheels. Really? Yeah, like it just, it doesn't feel natural. First time driving a six wheel K truck. I wonder if this makes it slower or does it make it faster because it has six wheels? Someone comment below. Drive's pretty smooth too. Like it feels healthy. I'm gonna end this video here. 
road to 40k thank you guys for watching we're still in japan we're going to be here for a while eventually going to move out here we just got to stack our money up stack our subscribers out peace out remember the name this is way before the fame